is giving hairline plus to the thighs. It's giving black girl luxury. It's giving everything we need and more for the black girl luxury community. I think hair can definitely be included in that. Good hair, good vibes. And this one definitely is going to get you to join the black girl TikTok, black girl luxury TikTok and all of that. I'm Ashley and today we're working with Wow African and I'm bringing you this pixie cut. It is a six to eight inch blonde ombre pixie cut. It gives rich auntie, rich black girl, a little bit of Lanithia links. It's giving all of that. So if you want to see how we got this look in 10 minutes or less, keep on watching. Okay, before we get into it, I did go ahead and straighten out the front and made it into like a straight bang. You guys can see the cut they provided before it had a little bit of height in that intro. But I wanted you to see if you just do a couple passes with the flat iron, you can make that go um, more of a straight opposed to like the feather bang. Okay, let's jump into the install. Usually I look crazy bald, but today I think I look a little bit cute. You guys know when you see the wig cap, it is already time for a wig install. Today we're going blonde, but at least we're going blonde with the dark roots, so we should be able to do a straight out of the box install. Today's look comes courtesy of Wow African, and they sent me over this gorgeous six to eight inch blonde ombre lace wig. Now when I say six to eight inches, you guys can see it has a little bit of like, I don't know if you will consider this a taper. We'll see when we put it on. But like here, it is probably a good eight. And then in the back, it's a good six. So it's a nice custom cut. In the inside, you'll see this is the inside or the construction of the cap. We do have 13 going across. I'm not sure the dimensions going back. I'm going to say four. And it definitely gives a really good pre-plucked. You see how sleek and good that looks? It's giving everything we need. It's giving everything that's going to make this a easy, super easy, like 10 minute install. It did have lace in the, it does have lace in the back and I went ahead and cut off all the excess and adjust the straps. That excess lace is going to give you the opportunity to bond her down at the nape. It also does come with these um, little pieces right there you'll see in your wig. And these just guarantee that you'll be able to add the strap. The strap is in the box. Because we are going to um, bond her down, we don't necessarily need them. I would recommend adding, adding them for a little bit of extra security if you are a beginner or if you don't intend on adding any like product to bond it down. Of course, it's going to be a glueless install, but we still don't need that. So this is what she looks like on. Get a load of how beautiful and undetectable the lace is. So amazing that I would highly recommend you do the bald cap. Now look at how beautiful the hairline is all the way around. Now when a company says they've customized the wig, they've plucked the lace and all that, like this is 10 out of 10. Like they literally customized the hairline and made it so that you literally, there's nothing left to do. Like if it comes pre-plucked, typically you can still go in and add a little bit more of something. Mom. But today we have to do nothing. Yes, baby girl. I love you. I love you too. Hair. Thank you. Let's go ahead and pull the hair back, cut off the excess lace, and bond the wig down. And then we'll come back and just see what we're doing. Like, how are we going to style this wig? Do we need to add any heat? Do we need to style her up? Or is it literally ready to go? Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around. So little, and we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying
Okay, so the install is complete. Let's go ahead and decide on a style. Um, install, as I promised, was less than 10 minutes. The longest part about it was allowing the lace, the actual lace, to dry. So let me look at the website and see what this one looks like. Okay, so this is what we got. You know how it's like what we got versus what we asked for. It definitely is spot on exact to what the picture looks like on the website this is the nape or what the back looks like we're going to work towards that and then this is what the model looks like it actually is very complimentary i think it makes a huge difference with the dark root and it doesn't look cheesy like sometimes like when you have such blonde hair and then you throw a dark root on it it definitely gives like intense I'm going to use my wax stick just because the hair is naturally short. All of the hair is short. You need to give it something to kind of like separate the parting. Bucks. This is the end result. I really wanted to show you. I went ahead and straightened out the front so that you can see the versatility. And I wanted you to see the difference. You'll see it has a little bit of height in the actual outro, but this is just a different option for you if you want it to be a little bit more straight um, in the front. Kind of like the picture on the website, and it does give a beautiful cut this way. Okay, now let's jump into the outro. <laughs> As I mentioned, this did come from Wild African, and this is the packaging. This is the bag that the wig came in, and I already I already let you guys know that this one is um, six to eight inches, and it is an ombre, blonde ombre. Why am I out of breath? So they did include a couple of stuff. So this is a dust bag that you'll be able to put your wig in. It can live in here, and when you're not wearing it, and of course, it does have their brand and logo on it. <coughs> Have a thank you card and then you also have a wax stick this is basically a very similar thing it's called the fly away and frizz tamer and it is like i said a hair wax stick this is similar to what i used on my hair um, in this video so they did include that in case you don't have one already a nice pair of lashes this is very 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 thick and beautiful for the natural girls you guys know i'm a little bit extra but i definitely would rock these for a daytime look a rat tail comb with the website on it and then also a pack of wig caps so this install was made very easy to do when it comes to blonde ombre or just blonde in general typically it is a little bit nerve-wracking you really don't know until you put the wig on whether it's going to blend with your complexion or is it going to look crazy until you try it and actually put it on the dark root always helps but you still just never know sometimes it just gives like trailer park or grunge rock and roll or tacky and then sometimes it still gives a vibe this gives rich black girl I feel like I can join the black girl luxury on TikTok with this wig and definitely, definitely, definitely come with the vibe. So I love the fact that this one came ready to go straight out of the box. As you guys see, I did bump it with my pencil flat iron, which I have in the description box. 
just to give it a little bit more personality because it was a little bit more straight, especially on this side. I think I slayed it with the baby hair. I kind of did the curl baby hair on this side and I used just my shapers. I didn't use any edge control and I think that came out pretty good. Um, no baby hair along the perimeter, no customizing. Oh, I can do a little powder. Okay. So I'm just gonna take, I did my makeup earlier today and because this hairline blends so well, it's almost like you don't need um, any powder or concealer. You don't need a lace tint, but because I did go back and touch the hairline up, you can kind of see that. It is a little bit of a demarcation because I had to touch it up with a spray with the rat tail comb. But for the most part, it matches the hairline, and then it doesn't have any... Um, it does have hair. I was going to say it doesn't have any hair. It does have hair in the hairline, but you can see that they did a great job at plucking it for you. So literally plucking it any more than this, you're going to pretty much go bald. So I love that for me that everything was ready to go. Do you think I slayed it? Let me know your thoughts. Chime in and let me know what you think. So I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to add a little baby hair right here, but for you guys, I'll leave it. We're off the camera, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!